This is a train set up with four Aristocrat GP40s pulling a 40 car train and this whole train has center set couplers installed, KD couplers. In the case of the locomotives here, uh, they're installed in custom made datum precision CNC metal coupler boxes that I had custom made. And these are the gondola cars, Aristocraft 40 foot gondola cars. And uh, they have been lowered with the same technique uh, that was done on the flat cars. They're lowered approximately two tenths of an inch from the original factory setting. These have the original uh, non-lowered uh, floors in them uh, except for the one Santa Fe car here which has a lowered floor and uh, in the case of the Santa Fe car it was lowered uh, a little bit more than what Greg Olmassian described when he used the uh, KD906 coupler boxes. I used 907s with the smaller footprints here and uh, in the case of this Santa Fe one it was already lowered by virtue of its factory lowered floor but I lowered it an additional 80, 80 thousandths uh, from what Greg had done with the, uh, the larger coupler boxes that he used and he describes what he did on his website and of course uh, all my stuff is on his website as well for the description of what was done with these uh, cars that I have done. So there are several of them here including the covered hoppers and uh, they're of course bearing the load of the train here on the underhouse layout and the tank cars I just lowered as well and I have a few more to do, three more to do, there are four of them on this uh, train here that have been completed and again they use the same KD uh, uh, coupler boxes the 907s that is <coughs> And the smaller footprint, I think, uh, looks better than the 830 types or the, nine, uh, the 906 type coupler boxes. And the cars have been weighted as well. Uh, these, have a, these tank cars have a one pound steel rod weight in them. In, the case, in this case, I uh, cut the steel rod, it's one foot long, it's 5 eighths diameter, and and cut it in three sections like sausage links and poked it down to the openings in the uh, dome of the car and aligned them uh, by poking a plastic stick through there so it wouldn't scratch anything and then packed it with foam uh, with packing with recycled packing foam. So there in the case of the gondolas just like with the flat cars they were lowered by virtue of using USA Trains uh, bet plastic Bettendorf trucks were I lowered the bolster within the trucks in order to lower the cars. In the case of the tank cars, I retained the original Aristocraft trucks and put a 32,000 shim between the bolster, the truck bolster, and the side frame that's in here and it's hard to see. In one case, I used, a, rather than a plastic shim, I used a metal shim. Maybe that's visible here. Yes. <laughs> on this last car. So you can visually see there's a plastic shim in here but this is the same thickness. I used a little piece of aluminum just for purposes of illustrating it here. So by compressing the bolster span in the springs you can slip the little shim in there and that serves to lower the car so the, the KD couplers will line up uh, exactly with the KD 980 gauge. Now one could use USA Trains brand Bettendorf trucks and lower them like I had done for the, the gondolas and the flat cars. But uh, for lowering them for the sake of about 30 to 40 thousandths, it's probably not worth the effort to do. Another alternative is to put smaller diameter wheels. If you use USA Trains uh, brand uh, freight car wheels, uh, they're a bit smaller in diameter and that may get you close. However, I chose to keep the Aristocraft 2911B metal wheels. Uh, for all these cars since I already had them uh, <clears throat> and uh, they roll very nicely they're nicely they're nice and smooth so I'm very happy with the results here for all these cars on the same train further back is this uh, 60 foot USA trains 
boxcar and I also installed uh, KD906s on this uh, though the car came with the supposed uh, simulated uh, hydro cushion or shock control type couplers which were fairly clever uh, but I chose to retain using the KDs and uh, I discovered when installing uh, them on the car that the original USA trains couplers uh, were pointing downhill and of course when the trains in tension will tend to pull it straight uh, but to resolve that issue uh, when I installed the KDs I uh, actually put a, I put a spacer in and put a small screw uh, 172 that I recall uh, and actually screwed the end of the floor of the car into the bulkhead and the uh, bulkhead was fairly thick in which you could drill a little hole with a pin vise and do that and that stabilized. When you put KDs on some of these cars that don't have the floor extrem extremity uh, anchored to the end of the car it tends to flex up and down and or the tolerances in the manufacturing the floors may have a slight bow in them and that makes it awkward to uh, to align the KD coupler with the gauge <clears throat> and of course under load it can flex as well so that's why I like to anchor the I find it as a necessity really to anchor the floor to the end of the car. Now the caboose has KD 907s uh, installed they're basically poked into the opening that was already in this caboose. This caboose is out of scale it's probably really a narrow gauge scale and in the case of the Southern Pacific caboose it's an aristocrat caboose. They call it a long caboose apparently because of this section being longer than this one where the cupola is. <coughs> and uh, the actual C SPC 40 3 caboose, of which it's painted after or supposed to replicate to a loose extent, <coughs> uh, it really has a longer proportionality. The SPC 40 3 is longer in this longer section here. And of course, the steps. Are rather large, the doors are rather large, but in order to uh, make it more plausible on the 129th scale train, I chose to lower it and, uh, and kind of fix the electrical problems. The lights used to flicker with the old, I guess they were carbon brushes <coughs> that would scrape against the wheels. <coughs> so, having replaced the wheels with ball bearing wheels for two of the axles and then 2911Bs for the other two axes, mostly to save money. <laughs> uh, the electrical pickup is far superior with the electrical tabs provided for, for the lights. <laughs>